I think part three was the one which was quite long, so it went off of just deleted something else. Uh, when I run out now, I'm screwed because uh, I'll have to delete one of these. I mean, like, I'll probably delete them when uh, I put them onto YouTube because I'll have them that way anyway. So, uh, yeah. So, here's the meat cleaver. It has, like, blood on it. Butcher's knife, I like to call it. I like the way they put different patterns of blood on each side. They might have actually did the same on this one, but on the other things, it's different blood patches. Anyway, it's kind of like the handle pointing to like the bottom of the knife, if you know what I mean. That's the little circles, just the style of a knife. Kind of demonstrating how he would have used it. It's weird because it's too small. Anyway, actually, so fun. I think these holes and butcher knives are to like hang on a shelf. I mean, like, with if someone wasn't being careful and was being a bit quick with it and they were trying to hang it up, they could probably cut it down. The handle, at least. Okay, I'm trying to get another. Uh, this is the last weapon. I won't be able to show the hand. I mean, like the wool, but I won't be able to get out of the shell because that's hard. Anyway, it's like a kind of match thing, a road flare, I believe these are called, with a flame. I like the detail and the fire and stuff. So, uh, apparently, near the start of the movie, feet, this is where that car on the packaging, I think, a car break, breaks down or something, and it, he sneaks up big, 